the Portland, we have a kind of a unique position where the mayor is the police commissioner. And I just wonder which, how you feel about that, what's your experience dealing with that, and if you see maybe a better way that that could work. You know, um, other cities do things differently. My view is we are not limited by our form of government. We are limited by leadership. Because just because I am assigned a certain number of bureaus doesn't mean that's the only thing that people I represent care about. So if I only talk about fire and rescue and I only talk about 911 and I only talk about emergency communication, that means that I'm not paying attention to what's happening in people's day-to-day -day life, right? I think that we have allowed our elected leaders to use our form of government as a reason for inaction, right? We have over $5 billion of deferred maintenance because no one wants to talk bad about somebody else's bureau because they want them to support whatever it is they're doing in their bureau. I don't have that filter. My filter is <laughs> <laughs>
I thought, well, wait a minute. I thought we had 1,027 police officers, right? Well, let's also do away with the gang enforcement unit. 28 officers who their full-time job is to go and find gang members. Last year, 52% of the people they stopped and searched were African Americans mm -hmm. in a city with a 6% African American population. <coughs> I say they can't find a gang member if they fell over one. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just go away with the unit, put that money back in the general fund, and let's not redesign the system, right? Now, this is logical, this is not anti-police talk. Police have a hard job, but let's, let's allow them to do their job. They only have two jobs. That is to solve crime and prevent crime. They are not mental health professionals, they are not housing experts, they are not community social service support staff, right? They only got two jobs. So let's bring them back in. Let's have them focus on that and have a series of community meetings that allows us to envision what does 21st century policing look like? Right. And what do we want to do to make sure that we're moving ahead of the curve and not in this like uh, uh, this universe where we think being on to the T is the way to get to a safe community. It never has, it never will. Amen. your ideal structure when it comes to accusations of police misconduct for the role of prosecutors and grand juries? Well, here's the thing. Um, if we can agree that we don't have a system in place now, uh, the director of the IPR just announced he's taking a job in Salem. And I will be meeting this week with the auditor's office because they want to talk to me about the a job announcement that they're going to put out. I'm going to say, don't bother. Don't, don't, don't hire a director. Let's put the office on pause until we re-envision what policing should be. Once we know what we want, let's start building a system that makes sense. As far as accountability, here's where I think it comes. I think in 2020, when we put the Child Review, I'm sorry, in 2021, when we put the Child Review Commission in place, the Child Review Commission gets to look at every part of our governance in the city of Portland, and they get to circumvent the politicians who don't want things to change. It goes directly to the voters with a majority vote of the Child Review Commission, and the Child Review members are appointed by the city council. And so in 2021, we will fund an oversight committee that can go to every corner of the city of Portland and ask us, what do we want? Do you want to change the form of government? What should it look like, right? That should not come from City Hall. That should come from you. We want police accountability. What does that look like? What are some models, right? I think Oakland has one of the best models of an independent uh, 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 oversight process where they have subpoena power, they have a budget, uh, and they get to actually uh, uh, recommend discipline that has to be implemented, right? We need a model that will work for Portland, and we get the design, right? But it has to be designed in spite of the current system, and we should just agree that the current system doesn't work, let's, let's plan for a new one, right? And let's be thoughtful about it, and take our time 